This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Brothers, I have long wondered what it might be like to find myself adrift at sea, on a raft, a small boat, or even with a life preserver. It'd be a hard thing to endure alone. And isn't it a common expression or analogy, analogy in a man's life, that feeling of being left adrift, lost at sea, unnavigated? Most men feel there's something not rightly directed in their lives. And so they would like a breakthrough, a clear path forward, a rescue plan. There are several movies of being left adrift at sea, and I don't think this is any coincidence. Recently, I saw that movie with Robert Redford, All Is Lost. There are others like Open Water, Life of Pi, which I also find interesting for many reasons. Other movies are in time of war as a result of downed ships or planes, like the USS Indianapolis with Nicolas Cage, Against the Sun and others. Again, a, being adrift at sea is a common theme, and perhaps for good reason. When watching these movies, the ingenuity of men is astounding when they are forced to survive in tragic conditions or catastrophic circumstances. It amazes me what men can come up with. It's interesting when men have their survival instincts actually tested, or perhaps simply have their survival skills put to work. To my mind, these keep men from fear of surviving or dying. For this reason, brothers, it's good to know many survival techniques and those needful skills, even in a health or medical emergency. Men who know these are more confident, self-reliant, and keep their cool. But being left adrift also tests one's sense of hope. Now, I have never been lost out at sea, but I do remember getting kicked off a bus in Bosnia with a buddy out in the middle of nowhere. We had tickets for another bus headed for a different destination. And we were kicked off by security at night, again, in the middle of God knows where. Had no idea where I was, stranded on a strange road in a foreign country with a language I did not know. Somehow I did not lose hope but I was perplexed, perplexed how God was gonna get me out of that situation. Few cars took that road at night and would not stop. Yet by chance, there was a cab driver who took the road, perhaps on his way home. He got us back to where we stayed the previous night. I will never forget that situation. Brothers, when adrift at sea or somewhere else, when left alone in a foreign place, it's important to trust in our own abilities and our own training, as well as keeping confidence above all in God. That hope will keep you from fear, which is your worst enemy in a desperate situation. Brother Scott be with you.